Hello everyone, my name is Robert Woodward. I am a client relationship consultant here at Capsim, um, and I am going to be your host for, uh, for our first uh, webinar of uh, this semester. Uh, we are going to be talking about um, the getting started. So the first things that you need to be doing prior to, to working on the rounds. Now just to make sure that everyone can hear me in the questions pane on for your um, for the the go to webinar pop out could someone type in a question and let me know that everyone is hearing me All right, perfect. Got a few people that I mentioned that you can hear me. Okay, so we are going to be going over. So I'm going to, I am logged in as a brand new student, one who has not entered Capstim yet. So the moment I click Capstone, I'm you're, you would see the exact same things that I am going to see. Okay, and I'll walk you through all the get the the getting started sections. Walk you through your um, your left dashboard. Um, everything that's going to, that's going to help you um, navigate through uh, through the um, through our interface. And just as a reminder, um, this webinar will be recorded, or it is being recorded, and it will be posted onto our website um, likely sometime tomorrow. Okay. So, any generic questions, um, not specific to your simulation or uh, any of your pre work. Um, Feel free to answer the to ask those in our in the uh, in the question box that I mentioned uh, a few moments ago. If it's specific, I recommend you reach out to our support team, and they can be reached through email at support at capsum.com and by phone at eight seven seven four seven seven eight seven eight seven. Okay, let's go ahead and get into everything. All right, so the moment you hit here, in case you've never logged in, give me one moment. Actually, I must have already logged in. I apologize. Normally, the first time you log in, you are sent to the getting started section. Okay, so the top menu, top, uh, top one on the left menu. Now, subsequent visits, you'll see the dashboard. And again, let me let me make this a little a little bit smaller. Okay, so. From your, your left menu, actually, there's two menus that, that uh, I recommend becoming very familiar with. First off, the left menu, okay? You can get to things such as decisions to, to where you enter the spreadsheet and, and begin making your decisions, okay? Your decision audit is where when anything is uploaded, that's where you can view the record, just so you can ensure that everything updated and uploaded properly so that when your, your round is, is processed, that every, everything will work out, okay? If your professor assigns you any uh, peer evaluations or you have to choose success measures or any assignments that we have with, within, uh, within the, uh, your capstone, um, this is where you would access that. Now, w one thing that I failed to mention, we are going to be going over uh, using the, the capstone simulation. Um, if you're in the foundation simulation, it's going to be 90% the same. Um, a few things will look a little bit different. Some of your reports, in terms of the functionality, there there is no difference. Okay, so don't don't uh, don't don't worry and stress over that. Okay, now a couple other things that that are key from the from the left menu is ethics. If it's incorporated into your class, you you can access it there. If you use the teammate, um, more of like a, um, it's an evaluation tool, um, you can click there. Now, the other thing that is going to be very key is the reports. So when you click under reports, you have debrief reports and you have industry reports. Now, the industry reports are, are things such as what was uh, going over information, such as what, what you sold last year, um, what happened uh, it, during the last round, it'll go give you some breakdowns of your uh, your annual report. So lots lots of good reports. 
that, that we are going to go over in, in great detail at a, at a future webinar. Now, your top menu, my account, if you need to change any of your uh, information, that's where you would do so. Help and support. If you have any questions for us, send a support ticket. Okay. Um, it, it'll, it'll, you'll, you'll go in there, like to type a message, it'll come to us, we'll respond typically within the hour. Okay. Now, under, under help and support, this is where you'll find your online guide and your PDF guide, and we'll show that in, in a, in, in a moment. That's going to give you pretty much any answer to any question you have. So uh, they're going to be great tools uh, for you. Now, of course, tutorials and demos and frequently asked questions are also very useful. So I recommend taking a look and, and checking those out. Okay. Now, from the getting started area, this is likely the, the thing you may be doing this week. Uh, maybe you're doing it next week. I, either way, it's important uh, introduction to, to the simulation that will help you get caught up to speed. Okay. The first thing that you'll be sent to in the getting started is the, your introductory lesson okay this what what goes on here is a four and a half minute video going over what you're doing uh what your company sells uh very basic information and then you have a quiz going a few qu few questions very very basic uh give you a good a good uh a good introduction Okay, now this is one of the three tutorials that is typically uh, required by your professor to complete. Okay, so I recommend doing that. Now, if you want a transcript, it's right here. Okay, if you want to download the video, it's right here. Okay, so we, we make it available in, 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 ver in various ways. Okay, now from this menu right here under, under the get, getting started area up here, these are the the tabs that I recommend going over. Okay, so next one is the guide. Okay, um, you have uh, two versions of the guide. The online one is less intimidating uh, up front. Um, it's searchable, and it's uh, you're not bombarded by pages and pages of information. Whereas the PDF guide will will tell you everything. And uh, however, it's it's in a manual form. Okay, so it's a lot of, lot of reading, lots of graphs. Um, so it's, it's great information. You can print it out, highlight it, do whatever you need with it. Uh, but the, the, the online one, if you just need a quick answer inside the simulation, that one's likely going to be your best bet. Okay, so I recommend going over those um, and uh, using those as, you, as you're getting up to speed. Okay, now, two reports that we are going to be going over in a webinar, I believe, next, uh, next Monday, is your industry conditions report and your capstone courier, okay, or foundation fast track if you're in the, in the foundation simulation, okay. Now, uh, a couple things with those. This report is the same regardless of if you're in the beginning of the simulation or in a later round, okay, the report never changes. You are generated or given a new capstone courier or fast track after every single round which helps you know what occurred in the most recent round so that you can prepare to make good decisions moving forward okay and like i said we're going to go into a lot of uh, a lot of detail on that okay now heading back quickly to your dashboard we see three tutorials now the first one i mentioned is the intro, introductory lesson, the, the one that, I, that we talked about earlier. The second and the third are the ones that I'm going to, going to be going over. Now, you can access them two ways. One, you can click on these Complete Now buttons. You click there, and it's going to send you right back into the Getting Started area into the Rehearsal Tutorial. Or if you happen to be in here, you can just click Rehearsal Tutorial, and you're sent to the same place. Okay, the Rehearsal Tutorial is where you first will see the spreadsheet where you will be asked to to input um, various decisions now the thing with the rehearsal is you are going to be following uh, following steps okay following lots of little tutorials that is going to help familiarize yourself with the process of entering decisions saving those decisions and uploading those decisions Okay, so it's going to it's going to be very very important. Now, 
one thing that I'm going to mention, it's a common issue, is that there are five steps here. Two are optional, okay? You don't need to play the, uh, the last three rounds. However, you do need to process round one. Now, you can't process round one until after the quiz. A lot of students will take the tutorials, take the quiz, and assume they're done and fail to do this step three. Okay, so please, please, please process your round. Um, it, it's going to um, save you from, from reaching out to us. Not that we're not willing to help, but just remember step three. And the key is doing that and then viewing and seeing what happened. That way you can, you can uh, learn, learn from, uh, from those mistakes. Now, when you go into it, click the green Open the Rehearsal Tutorial button at the bottom, and this is what you're going to be seeing. You're going to see written instructions over here on the left. If you prefer to just take the instructions, watch a little video, do exactly what it tells you to do over here, feel free. Okay. However, if you want more of a guided approach so you don't make the mistakes, then from these left, from sorry, the right area, you're going to see a little blue eye right over here. Click that, and you're going to get a pop out on the for the tutorial section. So you'll click start. You'll read it. You'll click next. It'll direct you where to go, what to click on where to input decisions, when to recalculate, when to click file, etc. It's very, very guided. If you walk through all of these, then it's going to help you get through, it's going to get, help you get to the quiz, it's going to help you um, get to one where it's mentions for you to process your round. Okay, so take your time you can go through these tutorials and in the first round you're guided if you want to play more rounds which you have the ability to do so log back in from and let me get out of here so after after you process your round this is not going to it's, there's going to be no button here it's going to be a green check mark so you're not going to be able to access it from there however getting started rehearsal tutorial will allow you to get back in and play subsequent rounds. So feel free to do so. Okay, now the third tutorial that was mentioned on your dashboard is the situation analysis. Okay, now this is five little mini assignments. Okay, so you're going to need to do calculations, you're going to need to view reports, uh, find some information, and then input it uh, in the uh, where you're directed to do so. Okay. Now, the things you will learn here are things such as what the customers want. Okay. What uh, a perceptual map is and how it works. Um, you're introduced to how the segments change. Um, margins, buying preferences, lots of, uh, of good things. Okay. So, the rehearsal helps you get familiar with entering things. This will help you understand how the market and the simulation works. Okay, so they go hand in hand. Okay, for these assignments, read, click next when it directs you to do so. If there's nothing to fill in, which in, in, in a couple of these, the, the, that is the case, read, observe, learn the lesson, view the animations more than once, click next, and continue through things, okay? Now, on some of these, you're going to be asked to fill in information, okay? Now, don't fill anything in the white. In fact, it won't even let you. If you fill in the green ones correct, everything autofills, letting you know that you did the calculations correct, okay? Now, as you go through these assignments, in some cases, it's going to direct you to the reports that you will need. Okay, so if it mentions you need the capstone courier, feel free to click capstone courier, load the report, and then make sure you have pages five through nine handy. Okay, and again, read the instructions. Um, you'll get some sample graph, sample images. You'll get how to calculate a, a few things. 
Again, fill in the green ones. And then after you fill a section complete, this will switch to say complete and it'll turn green, letting you know it's, it, it's complete. Now, if you ever see anything like this, it's simply because your screen is a little bit too big. Just resize it and it'll, and it'll, uh, it'll correct itself, okay? And then click next until you get to the last one. And then you'll know you're at the last one when you do not see another next button. Okay, now once you have a complete on all five of the pages that ask for you to fill something out on your dashboard, it's going to say complete again with a green check mark. Okay, so those are the tutorials that you're going to need to, to go through. Okay, now a few other things that I, that I want to go over is one, pick a strategy. Okay, now we have a few sample strategies that you can choose from or create your own. Okay, but either way it's important within the simulation when you're managing a company that you have a strategy. You know what uh, what customers you're trying to appease, um, how you're going to appeal to them, what's going to differentiate you from, uh, from others. Okay, it's very important. Now, when you click here, there's a link here for the team member guide. When you click there, this is that online guide that I mentioned. Okay, searchable. Type in type in a word if you want to know about marketing, type marketing, etc. Okay, now from this online guide, if you scroll down a little bit, you'll see six basic strategies. Okay, these are the strategies that we that we have. Okay, ones for to help people get get a good idea. Um, Choose one that, that uh, again, well, you think you'll be successful, um, you know, that, um, that align with what you, uh, what you want to do as a company. Okay, so you'll click on these six. You'll read about what they, what they recommend for each of the areas, R&D, marketing, production, finance. Um, gives you some ideas about how products could be positioned on a perceptual map. So feel free to read over those and choose one that works best for you. Now, one other thing is that once you get on a team, assuming you're on a team, which is the case for, for most students, it's important that you figure out a good way to divide the work. Okay, and there's a few, few ways in which you can do it. First off, one way is, and let me see if I can find, let's see here. Okay. Managing your company. Hold on, I apologize here. All right, never mind. I'll just tell you about it. Okay, so couple ways in which you could that we recommend you organize your team. First off, being a product manager. Okay, in the Capstone Simulation, you start with five products. Okay, you can have one person focus on two products, and, and, and meaning you would handle the products R and D, the products marketing the product's production, okay? And you would save for that, the, that or those products, okay? Now, you could also set it up to where you would have a manager over functional areas, meaning you have one team member worry about R&D. You have one team member worry about, uh, about marketing, about another on production, etc. okay? So feel free to divide Divide the work, but it's important that everyone has a role and everyone knows what they what they need to do. Okay, it's again, it's important to to communicate um, th those roles and make sure that every everyone is on on the same page. Now, another way is you could just do a large committee. Okay, you could have everyone be familiar with each area, which which has its merits. But then again, then you may not have someone who knows the areas very well because it may be a little difficult to know each of those areas. 100%. Okay. Again, choose what works best for you. Okay. Now, let me open up my question pane and let's see what kind of questions we have. So give me one moment. And I always misplace my window. Give me one moment. Apologize for that.
All right, perfect. Again, if anyone has any questions, use the question pane. Um, anything, anything uh, that you think other people may have the same question on, and we'll go ahead and work and work through these, and we will go from there. Okay. Okay, Bridget has has a question now. Just a little bit of clarification, Bridget. Are you talking about the rehearsal rounds, or are you talking about team rounds? So if you could if you could ask that in, uh, type that in in in, in a question pane. That that would be helpful. Okay, team rounds specifically. Okay, it depends how your your course is set up. Um, that would be something that uh, if you see the option on your dashboard, you can. Otherwise. Um, then likely you're not able to. Now, within the rehearsal, um, you can. You can, you, can, you can replay the rounds. After a first round is processed on that menu within the, the rehearsal, a new button up here will, will, will appear that allows you to, to redo those rounds. Um, but Bridget, mainly, I, I, would, I would ask your professor if you have that, uh, that ability. They'll be able to, to assist you pretty good there. Okay, so yes, Norman, um, you will, if you see Foundation Fast Track or the Foundation Simulation versus Capstone, then all the reports will be the same, except you will be using the, the Foundation Fast Track versus the Capstone Courier. Okay, and of course, when you enter, you'll, you'll click on a green Foundation button versus an orange Capstone button. Okay. All right, a couple more questions came in. All right, is it mandatory to do all four rounds of the rehearsal tutorial? The answer is no. If they're not mandatory, they are helpful. They'll help you. Uh, the more times you enter decisions and you view the results, the better you'll understand, one, how the simulation works, um, and what um, you know, possibly learn from, from a lot of those mistakes. So. Again, it's recommended, um, but that is an entirely up to you. Okay. All right, next question. What are the pros and cons of organizing your company in each of the, of the earlier mentioned ways? Now, I kind of mentioned a, a possibly a, a, a few of, the, few of the, the weaknesses of a few of them. Uh, but, for example, if you are a product manager, Okay, you're still going to need someone to do the financing. Okay, because you finance mainly as as a whole, cover plan improvements, and it doesn't give you the option to finance for a certain product line. When in fact, instead, you need to finance all of the plan improvements. Okay, so that that could be something that, in other words, you'd have to have product managers, and you'd have to have a finance person. Okay, um, also. Certain revisions, perhaps on on an R and D, if you have multiple people uh, there, it, it sometimes affects your R and D. Uh, the dates they finish, okay. More projects make things take longer, but that's going into a lot, a lot of the R and D. So I'm not going to go too much in, into that. Um, if you are a department manager, um, you're going to be very specialized in, in your in your area, and likely you're going to know it well, but you're also going to maybe have some issues in the other in the other areas. Okay, if you spend all the time in R&D, you may not know much about marketing or or the or the other functional areas. Okay, so the, the, there is a, there is that weakness. Um, the the committee ha, ha, could have the issue where you have too many people uh, people who think they know more than maybe what they do, which could lead to hard decision making in lengthy meetings. Okay. However, it is good for everyone to know um, about the areas. That way you have some forms of checks and balances within your team that's going to help you avoid a lot of the common pitfalls. Okay. Um, how do most students organize their company? Um, this is the next question. I'd say the most common is the is the functional area. 
where you'll have uh, managers of R&D, managers of marketing. Um, it's more common, not necessarily to say it, it, it is the best, but, you know, it, it, it's, it's, uh, it's very common. Okay. All right, next question. How do I save my work in the situation analysis? Okay. Now let me let me go let me go back there and, 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 and show you something. In the rehearsal, there is a save button. So you save, you recalculate, etc. It directs you to do that. Okay. Within the situation analysis, say the demand analysis, there is no recalculate button. Okay. There is just places to input information. That's because it saves automatically. Okay, you enter information, you click next or previous, it's going to remember what was put in. So you don't have to worry about any, any, any recalculation um, for, the, for the situation analysis. Okay, all right, now let's see here. Got a couple more questions. Give me one moment while I read these. All right, next question. What are the most popular of the six strategies, generally speaking? That's tough. Honestly, I I don't know. You know, I know that's not, uh, not really an answer. All of the strategies can be very successful, and all of them can have catastrophic failure as well. Okay. Um, there is extra opportunity if you're in um, more markets, perhaps, or if you have more products, there's more potential. However, it also makes for more work and more risk. Okay, so choose something you're comfortable with that you feel you can accomplish and you can, in which you can be successful is probably the best advice I have there. All right, we have a question, uh, Rolandria. Hopefully, I, I pronounced that correct. Um, that would be a question that um, I recommend. Good, I got the pronunciation perfect. Okay, or decent enough. Okay, for that one, I recommend reaching out to to our support team. They can log into your account, view what you've done. Um, that way, we'll be able to to better uh, to better answer your question. Now, again. Um, contact numbers 877-477-8787 is a good phone number. Or you can send us a quick email at support at capson.com. Um, feel free to do so. We'll, uh, we'll, we'll respond quickly regardless of, uh, of how you, you get up with us. Okay? All right. Well, that is all the questions we have. So let me go over a couple quick things, and then we will we'll close. And, again, we have another webinar on Thursday. Okay, we're going to be going over basic decision making. So we're going to get into the spreadsheet. We're going to quickly go over um, some of the reports. We're going to be making a few decisions, show you how to save, upload, um, things that are very useful, but again, it's going to be a, an overview. Okay, so I recommend you, uh, you, you all sign up. And just as a reminder, even though you have all signed up before. When you log into your account down here, this is where you can sign up for the for those webinars. Okay, so snapshot of the market. It's Thursday at, again at 1 p.m. Central. Feel free to to sign up for that. Okay, now for the recordings, so they can hear my beautiful voice once more under. Capsum.com under events. If you scroll down below our image, click webinars, student webinars. Okay. And again, you're, you're given the links here. Okay. And instead, instead of some information, you may see um, a link over here or perhaps um, because none are up here to have a good, have a good example. Okay, it doesn't look like it's going to be here, so it should be, it should be here. This should be converted into a link, um, but I'll know for sure for for uh, for the next one. If anyone can't find any of the recordings, again, reach out to our support team, and we'll uh, we'll assist you in in finding that. Okay.
Okay, let me look one more time to see if there are any questions. All right, perfect. No more questions. Hopefully this has been beneficial. Um, again, reach out to us if, if, if anyone needs any assistance contact information if you ever if you can't remember the uh, the times that, that, that I mentioned it okay so you'll you'll find our our information and you can reach out to us other than that have a great day good luck in your uh, your capsum experience um, I've been there it was a uh, hard at first a lot of information it worked out and I enjoyed it okay so hopefully everyone is uh, has the, the the same positive experience I did all right, everyone, have a wonderful afternoon and hope to talk to you all Thursday.